we're going to be discussing today is that reviews are now showing up and I'll show my screen here in just a minute, but reviews are now showing up on um, the Google Maps section. And it's also giving you an option to where you can sort um, based off of a five-star rating, four-star, three-star, one-star. Um, and so we'll get started on that in just a second. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to dream. And what the, the, <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the problem, the problem that really that we want to address here is that if, if you don't have um, if you don't have reviews and um, recent reviews, um, then most likely you're not going to get the this uh, extra little snippet of review in with your Google My Business page showing up in the search results. So it's, it's really important that you understand that there is a, um, there's a distinct advantage to getting reviews on a consistent basis, okay? So the problem is, is if you're not getting reviews on a consistent basis, you're probably not gonna have this, your, your most recent reviews show up with your Google My Business page in the, in the search or in the directories or on, on Google for that matter. So that, what that means is, is you're, you're not going to have as much real estate. And also, you're not going to be able to have a, an actual review show up in the search results. So when somebody types in, for example, property manager in San Diego, you know, your, you know, your, um, your review is not going to show up with your actual Google My Business listing on the maps. And the problem with that is, is that, you're not going to get as many phone calls because ultimately you're not going to have as much social proof. And so Crystal's showing you what I'm talking about here. Here. So, um, yeah, this is really good. So right here, you can see that we're on the maps. Okay. So we're, we did a search at the top. Let's just go back one step and show people that, you know, how we got there first and foremost. Okay. So we, we did a search for property management, Rockingham, Western Australia. Okay. So we have a, Whoa, sorry. Hold on one second. <laughs> so we have a, we have a, a client of ours um, that is in this area. Okay. And um, they're uh, Rockingham. Uh, they're, they're in the Rockingham area. And what we, uh, what we've done here is, well, first and foremost, I want to point out that those two links at the top there, you can see they're both ads. Okay. And, and, you know, more people are, are clicking on the ad section because it's not as evident that they're actually ads, which is kind of interesting because they've actually made those little ad, the, the little thing that says ad there, they've made it clear as opposed to making it a solid color before. So now we are seeing that there's a, there's a few more people that are actually clicking on those ads, but most people, only about 20% or fewer are actually clicking on those, on those ads right there. Now, if you scroll down though, what what we're really talking about right now is we're really we're really focusing on scroll down a little bit crystal um on the the map section there okay so the map section right here is really where most of pe most people that are searching for small businesses are really clicking they're going and onto the maps here to find out if the business is local to them okay especially if it's a local person and look, if the person typed in property management, Rockingham, Western Australia, they're looking for a property management company in Rockingham, Western Australia, right? I mean, so this, it, it only makes sense that somebody would go to literally the map, <laughs> and see, which is what we're seeing here, and, and look at these little pins and see what businesses are actually close to them. And actually, probably even look on the map to see, well, hey, I'm on this street. Where is, you know, where, where are these companies in relation to me. And then the next question they probably ask is, is okay, uh, well, yeah, what are these stars here? Oh, so these stars are actually like their reputation. Okay. Well, well, is it okay? So it looks like it's out of five. Okay. So obviously the closer to five, the better. And then, oh, that you can see the number of reviews there, you know, Rockingham real estate agent right there, professionals Rockingham. That's our, that's our client, by the way, they've got 117 reviews, by the way, when we started with them three months ago, they only had about, well, 10 to 15 and they had a, they, they had a 4.1 star rating or something like that, or four, yep. somewhere in the, between four and four or five. Now they're at 4.8. 
and why this is so relevant. And here's what, what we were talking about is, is that you can see the little, you can see the little quote there, the review. These are recent reviews that have been left for these companies. Okay. If you don't get recent reviews, if you don't get reviews, and by the way, there's a study that was done. They found that if you, um, your reviews, any reviews that are older than three months are considered really irrelevant uh, for the most part. So this is why you, everybody needs a, a way, a system, a process, a culture in their business that is one that is all about getting reviews on a consistent basis so that you get recent reviews showing up with your Google My Business page so that you can also get these individual reviews like you can see right there that Crystal's got her pointer on right now where it says, my property manager is efficient and prompt, always happy to help. That is a recent review that's coming right from their Google My Business page. It's coming right from the reviews. One of those, it's one of those 117 reviews. And if we go um, to their Google My Business page, Crystal, um, it'd be really, yeah, if we can go there, you can, you should be able to go. Yeah. Okay, good. And then if you go to now here, so let's go to their, click on the 117 Google reviews and let's see if we can find that one. And by the way, I want you guys to understand that people can sort reviews based on most relevant, most recent etc. right there. See where it says sort. If you just click mm -hmm. on that in the upper right. Yep. Yep. And then, yep. Newest. Let's click on newest. And then, um, let's see, there should be, I want to find that one. Um, if we can, most of the time, those reviews that are, sh that show up in with the with the search results there that we just showed are the ones that are the most recent and or the ones that are the most relevant. Okay. So in other words, if you type in newest and you go, go, or go, go back up to newest and let's just change that to highest, most relevant, most relevant. Okay. Okay. And these most relevant um, are, are reviews that are really relevant. Like people have liked them. They've, so they've got given them thumbs up reviews that are, that are deemed to be relevant and that people like are ones that are reviews that follow what we call the, the two W testimonial, which is what benefits the person's received and why they would recommend the company. Think about it. If you're somebody looking to use a business, and you go to look at the reviews for the businesses and you look at reviews and they don't give you any information other than, oh, I really like Ryan, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you know, about the business. You're not going to have anything. There's no meat there for you to, to understand. There's nothing for you to, 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 to grab onto in order to understand, you know, what benefits mm -hmm. that this person received that would make them want to recommend them to somebody else or why they would recommend this, this company. And so yeah. it'd be something that's why we always right through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so this is why we really need to, you know, it, it's, it's really important now that we're getting people have the option to sort by most relevant, by most recent. And also now, especially since those individual reviews that are recent, most recent and most relevant, are showing up literally in the search results with the Google My Business page, it makes it very, very important for you guys to continue to get reviews on, a, on an ongoing basis because I, we've seen these reviews show up and, and what we're noticing is, is that they are typically the most recent and most relevant reviews. So it, it is important to continually get reviews and to get reviews that are meaningful, that actually have some some you know, some substance to them, if that makes sense. So yep. that, those are the main things that I wanted to, you know, to talk about today. I mean, I think that if, I don't know if there's any way, and by the way, I want to point out again, this is so, so important to point out is that yes, Joyce property investments came out of nowhere for this particular, you know, for, for our, our client. Oh. The, um, we, we had 117 reviews that we got them. And then all of a sudden, you know, Joyce, 
you know, started paying to show up in the search results, which by the way, you can do now. Obviously you can see that there's, that's an ad Joyce, Joyce property investments. I want you to see this is paying to show up on the maps. And again, this is where most people are clicking in order to, in order to, to, to find a new business. This is where most people are going in order to determine who they're going to work with locally. And you now can pay to play to show up in the search results on the maps, not up top where I showed you the ad section or down below in the organic section, but literally on the maps, which is where about 60% of people are actually clicking in order to start the process of engaging with that particular business. So, man, I mean, if you're a business and you have a great reputation, but you're not search engine optimized like we've been talking about in this series of videos mm -hmm. and you're not showing up on the maps like Joyce Joyce was not showing up on the maps because they didn't do proper search engine optimization they didn't claim their directories like we, we've talked about yep. um, they didn't do the on-page optimization the off-page optimization they didn't get the 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 links you know they didn't do the off-page optimization and get the links from other websites back to their website and so what does that do well that creates a situation where they are not going to show up on the maps, even if they get a, even if they have a great reputation and a lot of reviews. And this is a great example. So what they're doing is they're paying to show up and at least have a chance to get selected. And then, but you, you'll notice that they don't have the option of having, or at least they're not, they're, they don't have one of their reviews being shown with their, with their display ad there. So organic, still trumps yep. anything that, that, that has to do with ads because, you know, they're, they're giving a little bit more real estate. Notice how much, you know, there's four lines of content for Century 21, for Rockingham, for Home to Home, whereas Joyce only has three lines of, of real estate. So it, you're, you want to, you know, the, the goal is, and this is really the main point of, of this whole thing is, is that just to circle back is, is that, you want to take up as much real estate as you possibly can. And, and by getting recent and relevant, valuable reviews that follow the 2W testimonial, you're going to have your review show up with your listing. So you actually get, have more social proof and you'll ultimately get more phone calls and more inbound leads as a result of it. Mm hmm yeah. And, and two, I mean, we've also talked about why it's important to keep up with um, your information on the Google My Business page, because now they're adding these drop down options to where you can perfect your search a little bit more based on the star rating and also on the hours. So if you don't have that information listed on your Google My Business page, that's going to hurt you as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great point, Crystal. And so now people, if, if they don't see what they like there in the search results and they, yep. and, and let's say there's a, there's a company that's done great search engine optimization and they're showing up on the maps with a, you know, I've seen this before where mm -hmm. they've got a two star rating yet they're still showing up on the maps just because they've done a good job of local search engine optimization. You know, people, you know, can definitely search by rating. They can change the, 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 the makeup of what, what used to just be the three pack. Now, based on Joyce property investments showing up there and the ads now being a part of it, it can be more than just a three pack. It, it's a four pack now. And, and you can see that, yes, people can actually search by rating and by hours. And so it does make sense to get, have, a rating. <laughs> if you don't have yeah. a star rating, you're not even going to be in the mix. You know, yeah. if you don't have reviews, this is why another reason why getting reviews is so important. If you have no reviews, you don't even have a chance to show up in, in, you know, and being, and, and to be listed by rating, you know, because you don't even have yeah. reviews. And if you don't have your, op, your, your hours of operation, then yeah, you, you're not going to be even in the mix. Yeah. So this just goes back to just basic optimization of, and, and completion of your Google My Business page really is what it comes down to. It's just filling out, we've always said this, you know, when in doubt, fill it out. You know, when in doubt, like, 
you know, fill it out and, and, and create a complete listing and, and give yourself the best opportunity to show up, you know, in the search results. So yep. mm -hmm. constantly updating those hours too, not just, not just set it and forget it type of thing. It's something that you need to sign in on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and update as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, I would agree. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely chat with us. I mean, we, you know, you can go to our website and um, it, we'll chat with you within minutes. Um, we pride ourselves on, you know, on really engaging and, and following up with people that have any questions. And, and um, you know, we've got tons of case studies of companies that we've helped uh, do this and it makes a really big impact. I mean, you know, we've got examples of companies that have you know, 200 have gone from 200 uh, doors that they're managing as a property management company to 800 in two to, you know, two to three years. And, and that's all organic. I mean, it's all just from what we do, you know, the basics. Um, and so if you go to accelerateyourmarketing.com and then just, you'll see a little chat, little chat button in the bottom right hand corner there that pops up and you can chat us there, or you can uh, start a chat conversation um, uh, with us on messenger at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. And, um, or you can just go, like I said, to accelerate your And uh, start a chat with us there on our website. We'll, we'll answer any questions that you have. Yep. Create a great rest of your day, everyone. Well, what are we talking about tomorrow? Um, Google my business. <laughs> this week we're talking uh -oh. about Google my business tomorrow. It, or um, next week is going to be, uh, online reputation and reviews. And the week after that is local SEO. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Bye.